गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम हेयर टू टीच यू केमिस्ट्री पेपर थ्री यूनिट टू क्लासिकल मैथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस बिफोर बिगनिंग विद क्लासिकल मैथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस जस्ट वी हैव टू लुक ओवर मैथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस they are divided into two classical methods also called as wet methods and second one is instrumental methods the classical methods are the methods these days these methods have become obsolete because we use instrumental methods but in some cases still we rely on classical methods only these classical methods are also called as wet methods why they are called as wet methods because a large amount of solution or reagents are required in these methods instrumental methods here as the name suggest you are going to use some instrument to measure the property say we can say always potentiometry conductometry or you can say spectroscopy और निफ्लोमेट्री से एक्स आर डी ऑल दिस इज इंक्लूडेड इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटल मैथड नाउ हियर वी हैव टू स्टिक टू ओनली क्लासिकल मैथड बिकॉज दिस यूनिट इज बेस्ड ऑन ओनली क्लासिकल मैथड्स actually these classical method depends on the completion of reaction so here we are going to see the completion of reaction the reaction should occur there that is why they are classical method now these classical methods are of two types say volumetric analysis and gravimetric analysis in volumetric analysis as the name indicates the quantity measured is volume and here the quantity measured is mass now volumetric methods are further classified into two volumetry and titrimetry in volumetry we measure the amount of gas evolved or absorbed during the course of titration and then this volume is correlated with the concentration of the species of interest
on right now what is then titrimetry here the solution of known concentration is is titrated with a of a definite volume is titrated with a definite volume of a solution of unknown species of unknown concentration all right so this is titrimetry so here you are measuring simply the volume of solution now in this titrimetry also you have four types neutralization precipitation complexometric and redox now in the we will study this in detail in the next lecture but here i'll i'll tell you something about this that in these three type, type of titration or titrimetry change in oxidation state or number does not take place whereas in case of redox change in the oxidation state takes place now coming to the types of gravimetry which we are going to see in detail later on but let's know the type it is first one is volatilization gravimetry precipitation gravimetry then you have electrogravimetry and thermogravimetry this we are going to see in the third or fourth lecture somewhere around or even at the end of the topic now if we know we have completed this and we are going to study about volumetric analysis but before studying volumetric analysis we should be accustomed with some of the terms used there so different terms are used here in volumetric analysis or we can say titrimetry first one is titrimetric analysis it is a technique based on the volume of the solution see it is it decides how much volume of the solution of known concentration is required to react with the definite volume of a solution other solution then we can correlate the volume and finally we can arrive to the concentration of unknown solution next is titration titration is nothing but the process by which the reaction between the analyte and your reagent takes place that is called as titration or you can say the process of addition of a solution of known concentration to the definite volume of solution of unknown concentration this is called as titration next is titrant the solution which is filled in burette is generally called as titrant and it is generally the solution of known concentration next is titrant the solution which is taken in a conical flask or the solution whose concentration is to be determined is called as titrant or you can say it is called as analyte next is equivalence point
the point at which the reaction is complete the reaction between titrant and titrant is complete is called as equivalence point next is indicator to judge the completion of reaction we require some reagent organic reagent to say whether the reaction is complete or not that is called as an indicator now indicator can be of various type like adsorption indicator or visible indicator that is color change indicator so this indicator should change its color from the concentration of reactant to the concentration of product a visible change should be there next is end point it is the point at which the indicator signals the completion of reaction that is called as the end point next is titration error now see all the time this equivalence point and end point will not coincide each other there will be certain difference between the end point and the equivalence point the difference between the two is called as titration error so these are some of the terms which you need to know before studying volumetric analysis or titrimetry next is conditions suitable for titrimetry now first condition is the reaction should be simple and it should be fast should be simple and you can say so that it can be represented by simple chemical equation all right second one is the reaction should be fast third point is the sorry there should be no side reaction next a suitable indicator should be available if visible indicator is not available then we can always determine the end point using instrumental method
से कंडक्टोमेट्री पोटेंशियोमेट्री नो सी दिस इंडिकेटर इफ यू आर यूजिंग इट शुड शो चेंज इन कलर और चेंज इन प्रॉपर्टी एट द टाइम ऑफ एंड पॉइंट so these are the conditions which are suitable for titrimetry now types of titrimetry we will see in the next lecture